All right, I got to read Detective Comics number 28. This is part two of the Gothopia storyline. Um, basically, the, what the last issue told you is, is that all of Gotham is under Scareco Scarecrow's control. And everyone's seeing it as this great utopia. I mean, Batman was... Batman saw through it, but everyone else is still under the influence of Scarecrow, and he's trying to stop it and, you know, break, every, break his hold on the city. The interesting thing is, though, is he's, Scarecrow is using the fear toxin to give people um, euphoric feeling, or like their deepest desires, that everything's perfect, which is something that he's never used it for before. The last page of this issue is awesome because we're including some people that I was hoping would be integrated more into the Bat family that we'd be seeing. Um, that's all I can really say. Give it away. Teams of Poison Ivy in this because she's immune, as we saw in the the teaser for this uh, storyline, that she's saying nothing's right. It's because it doesn't affect her because she her whole body is toxins. And Scarecrow, sorry, you're not that good. But yeah, I actually really like this. Um, I enjoyed Layman's Run, but before that I felt like Detective Comics was kind of all over the place, and I feel like this is a really good story to kind of ground the villains we'll be seeing and everything else we'll be seeing once Layman is completely off this book. But I'm going to give this 5 out of 5 Nerd Skulls. I suggest you check it out.